Hello YouTube, this is Dynamic FA. This is third class of uh, applicable programming. Last week we made a uh, tool data. Today we going to make a tool. Uh, we we going to use the tool data, uh, making a uh, uh, this star mark change to uh, actual name. Okay, let's let's do it. Uh, main menu, program editor, then you can get into there. We better to make a routine and keeping the home position. Okay, let's make a routine. Same thing. Back. Routine, then you can see all the routines here. Oh, sorry. You have to be in manual mode. Wow. New routine. And it will be R. Home. Okay. Then you have O. Sorry. It's typo. Uh, rename. M. M. Okay. Okay, show routine. Now we have routine here. Add instruction. Move J. But before you do, you better to move the robot actually in home position. So we have to program point uh, main and here click the pp to cursor then program pp will be here and forward sorry um it, you need to enable deadman switch yeah, that's correct hard stop uh, stop. Yeah, that this is the home position. Okay. Now we go PP two routine our home. Okay, and here we add the instruction. Move J, but we don't want star mark. We want to give the name here for the home position. Again, click only star mark and edit, change, selected. Then you can get into there. You can give new. Click new, then you can give name. I can give name. P is point, so I give home. Home. Okay. And I want to use tool data. Okay. And we give modify position. This is now. Oh yeah, this one. You. It was two zero, and this arrow. Okay, I'll try. I'll show you again. Unable to modify the position with the wrong tool selected. Change the tool in the uh, instruction or set desired to in the jogging view. So this means. This one and jogging window is matching. So you go to jogging. This one to T gripper. Now it has T gripper. Also program is T gripper and you modify position. Yes. And now it's been saved. Okay. And then uh, we don't need this anymore. 
we going to delete it yes this one here uh we call this our home inside the our initialize we call that procedure call then you can call routine and our home okay uh, below our home is here okay that's good and now we have a few more data here uh, motion command we're going to do the same thing here debug pp2 routine rp okay uh, this one same thing click and you we better move robot to that position forward and then we change this one new uh, new and we give the name uh, pick up before okay and this one grip up okay and modify position same thing same thing because you execute any command like a tool zero then uh, jogging window data will be changed to tool zero so that means you go back to tool zero t grip bar and come back modify position and now it's okay same thing this one here we do the same thing for uh, you this one you just pick up okay and we do same thing jogging window oh it's uh ah, i didn't with the oops we haven't moved it Back to uh, undo. We do undo. Uh, we can we can undo. Okay, I, I'm going to reteach the position. Uh, get down about here. Modify position. So it was my my mistake. I should have moved the robot before we teach it. Um, yeah, this is the position. Same thing. Uh, new pick up after and tool data data t gripper okay and modify position same thing jogging window jogging window to data t gripper uh, modify position okay okay that's good and now our place pp2 our place okay what we move the logo to the uh, place before position yeah here is the one we change selected you 
are placed before OK to gripper OK and logging window C gripper OK and modify position OK OK that's done and we uh, keep forward OK this is place position uh, new place okay okay this one is the place position and we oh sorry we have to change this one too okay uh, jogging gripper okay program editor select the whole line modify position yes and this one this one we need to move the robot to that point uh, point yeah. this is the uh, place after point you after okay figure okay and select the whole line and modify position enter uh, ah sorry jogging figure bar and modify position all right so now we have uh, finished the teaching with the name not just star markers okay we go to auto uh, acknowledge okay pp2 main yes this is pp2 main and start double on start uh no j gravity let's see what's happening here be home Load center argument the tool tool has defined load center uh center of the group okay this one is the because of the tool data this one asks us to set us the center of the gravity you can be it can be calculated in the uh the mechanical design okay let's see this one edit change value we have a five kilogram but the center of gravity is uh, all zero we better put 100 just roughly or oh, i think it looks like more than 100 anyway i set up 100 now then now it should be all right okay yeah same thing same program but we have we have added all the names on the point for the point like this all right thank you so much this is for today see you next time bye